Hi, it's Maria from Kinder Crave, and today I'm going to give you a really quick tutorial and lesson for Mac users on how you can blur out or sort of retouch a portion of a photo before you post it online. If you are a PC user, I am so sorry, but this involves a program that comes installed on Mac computers and is not available on PCs. But if you are a Mac user, you'll be happy to hear that it probably came pre-installed on your Mac. I'm going to be using a program called iPhoto. First, I'll show you a couple quick examples of how I've used this tool before. I have uh, student work that I posted on my blog and it had a first and last name on it and I needed to remove that. So if you can look here, you can see something used to be there but it's all sort of blurry and you can't make it out. That's because I did this retouching on it. I also had a photo of myself and another student and it was adorable and I was thrilled to share the picture online but I couldn't compromise her privacy. So again I used that retouch tool and just kind of cleared out that portion of her face so that I could still use the photo. Um, to do this, you need to import your photos into iPhoto. Some of you may already use iPhoto. And you need to, um, there are three buttons across the top here. Three tabs, I should say. Effects, and Adjust, and Quick Fixes. But you need the Quick Fixes tab. So go ahead and make sure that is selected. Then you want this very last button at the bottom called Retouch. Now, um, it says click or drag over the blemish to remove, which is what we're going to do. And this little bar here is an indicator of how big your retouching is going to be. Um, right now, if I kind of move the, it's set a little bit over to the, a little bit from the left. If I move over here, do you see that circle on my mouse? That circle is how big the area of the retouching is going to be. Um, I can make it bigger. You can see that's a much larger area, and if I pull it over here, that's, that's a huge retouching area. If you have something very, very tedious, you may want it to be something very small. I'll start small. Um, you can see my very small cursor. Let's say this is a picture of my classroom, but there's a student face or a last name written on something, and I need it removed. All that I do to remove it is I take the cursor with that little circle thing, and I put it over my I mouse over the area I want to retouch. I click. You can click once and it'll just be a little dot. Or I can click I can click and just drag this thing up and down and when I let go, you can see it's sort of that tan color. When I let go, now it's all sort of blurry. I can do big retouches or little retouches. A lot of times if it's a student's face, I just um I'm gonna pretend that my purple purse over there is a student's face. Um if it's a student's face I just make it a little bit bigger and make this about the size of their face and I click one time and there you can see it it's nicely removed and it doesn't cause a big thing um, if you drag sometimes it gets very streaky so I'll drag right here so you can see it, it sometimes causes weird lines and it does it works in kind of interesting ways if you ever get a retouch that you don't like the way it looks just click the undo button Maybe resize it a little bit and give it another try. There, it looks kind of weird again. That would be the kind of thing that bugs me because I'm type A. So I would just kind of keep on trying it till I get the one that's just right. Um, I can go ahead and scramble my face a little bit too. It's going to look crazy, just a warning. <laughs> um, I'll make this just a little bit bigger. It pulls in nearby colors, and I don't want to make it too big because my dark brown hair is so prevalent. If I make this gigantic, I'm going to have really dark splotches on my face. And I, I'm trying to make it not noticeable to other people. I'm just clicking once and once and once to keep on scrambling. The more you click, the more it's going to scramble. So it's very subtle. Um, I'll show you what happens when I what I mean about my hair. If I make it gigantic and I do a big scramble, you can see that there's some brown in the edges and my face turns very, very brown. I'm fussy and I don't tend to like that. So if you ever get one that you don't like, just undo. When you have a picture that you're satisfied with, um, you can export it. All you're going to do is go to File and then Export. It pulls it out of iPhoto and saves it in a separate area on your computer. 
before I post anything online, I don't like digging through my iPhoto files, so I always just dump it on my, pic on my desktop. I'm just going to call this me. I click desktop, give it a name, and click OK. And I don't want this permanently scrambled because I might want to um, order photos online from my classroom later or do another project with them. So I'm going to revert to previous, and then I'm going to revert to the original file. It warns you that it's, all your changes are going to be lost. I'm fine with that. It takes a second. My iPhone is very slow today. Um, eventually this will clear up and it will be me as I was before without a blurry face. Um, in the meantime, you can see here's the me photo that I dumped on my desktop. It's still blurred, so this would be the one that I use for the internet. And then when this ever does decide to revert, it can be so fussy sometimes, it will be untainted me without any blurriness to me. Um, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and I highly suggest using it anytime you don't want to share certain visual information online but you really want to share a great picture. Thanks so much and have a great day.